Hey Pisces, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Stella V. I hope you guys are doing very well, right? And let's see what's going on with you guys. I just wanted to do a quick check in on my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising signs. Um, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's just get started. I just want to see what's going on with my Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces at this time? Hmm holding back holding back holding back keeping what's yours very close to you really feeling really protective right like i have to protect what's mine i have to protect my space i have to protect myself also meditating also staying balanced also also staying within that love aura though I see you protecting your heart space. I see you really applying self-love in all directions. All directions. Um, but I see you holding back though. I wonder what you're holding back from. What are you holding back from, Pisces? What are you holding back from, Pisces? What are you holding back? Hmm holding back from someone that's very focused on other things materialistic things focusing on yourself but moving forward again like i said holding back from someone that really doesn't uh embrace love or embrace your time or embrace your space like i feel like you're moving away from that moving into this place of i want trust loyalty commitment right but more importantly, I want to be stable. I want to be stable in my mind. I want to be stable within my whole aura. Like, I just want to be stable. I want to move into a place of stability where I can invest my time and money for some properly. Really protective, guys. Really protective at this time. Really protective. I feel like money is possibly on your mind a lot. You know, possibly starting something new. Stepping into a transition here. I see you happy though. But I feel like in the background, you're holding back from something that nobody knows about. Hmm. Mm. Allowing the universe to take over. No longer really trying to be in control of anything. Because it's like I know the universe has my back. I want balance in my life. I want structure. I want stability. I want love. I want someone that truly cares about me. And it's like, I feel like right now you guys are just in a place where it's like, I'm just going to trust in the universe, honestly, because I'm not sure what else to do here. I'm not sure what else to do. Bottom of the deck, possibly something ended <laughs> something ended for you it, or it could be like ending an old cycle or ending old ways or no longer putting your energy into something that you felt like um okay who is this person i feel like you guys are like <laughs> saying no to like anybody that's like in and out in and out right I don't really want to deal or keep on going back and forth with this relationship anymore. I'm I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of exhausted, honestly. I'm I'm done, right? I just want honesty. I don't want to be with someone that's going to be back and forth. And I'm making a decision to end this cycle for myself, for my well-being, for my time, for my stability, I want to end this. I don't think this is productive. I don't think this is um, in my best interest, right? I feel like you guys are ending something, but here goes this person coming back. Somebody wants to come back here, possibly coming back with an energy of passion. Someone wants to come your way with passion, Okay, I feel like for some of you guys, you possibly thought this person was giving up because they're so stubborn. Because they're so stubborn and they're stuck in their ways. And when they make a decision, it's like, that's it. And I'm done and and whatever. Right. But I feel like this person is returning for some here. 
they're returning their they're returning but i feel like for some of you guys you're in an energy where it's like i can't wait to hear what this person honestly has to say you know after everything that has happened because right now i'm so focused on myself i'm so focused on my pentacles because i see you guys very focused very focused very focused on your pentacles right now possibly getting a new position but either way focused and this person knows that you're different like the dynamic has changed things have shifted but i feel like this person is on a mission it's like i want to know why you've changed i want to know why you're no longer speaking pisces have you met someone new right have you met someone new at work have you met someone new online have you moved on wanting to know right wanting to know but at the same time not really ready to give you everything that you need so i feel like you're in a place where again you're holding back and you're like i have to protect myself because i know i've been on this ride before and the universe has like made this person's cycle or their the way they go about things i i'm used to it now i'm used to it now I'm used to it now. Let's see what else is going on here. Spirit, what else is going on with my Pisces? What else does my Pisces need to know? What else does my Pisces need to know? Oh, who's that? Okay, guys. So I feel like someone, okay, for some of you guys, you may be meeting someone new here. But I'm feeling like you guys are in an energy where it's like people are possibly offering you love, but you're not feeling like you're not really open right now. I don't feel like you're open. You possibly dealing with someone that constantly breadcrumbs, right? Constantly uh, stunts your growth or doesn't allow you to move into that place of commitment. Because I know Pisces, the love that you guys give is just phenomenal. Phenomenal, okay? So the fact that someone keeps giving you this little fishy cup here, this cup of, a, you know, like this questionable energy of love, I feel like you're just feeling like it's a burden, if anything. Like it's a burden. I don't know if I want to deal with this. More than likely, I'm not going to deal with this again because I don't want to get hurt again. I'm tired of um, disappointing myself and, and disappointing uh love right because i know i know love is not supposed to feel this way i know that and i feel like you guys had an epiphany it was like a moment of clarity of wait this person's manipulating me right this person's holding back this person's not opening up this person's not really telling me or exposing what's in their mind or their true desires they're not doing that but now I'm going to trust in, to, you know, in the universe here with the star card. I'm going to trust in the universe and I'm going to just manifest. Manifest great love, manifest abundance, financial abundance, um, and manifest clarity within the situation so that I'm able to release this and not be um, in a place where I'm tied down mentally into a situation that I feel like I have no control over. The only control I have is control of myself. What is the outcome? Control. You know, who is this emperor here? Who's this Aries, right? It doesn't have to be an Aries. But somebody is, is like really... I feel like somebody here is at a point where it's like, I am making a decision to move towards clarity, move towards um, a brighter future, okay? Whether it's with or without this person, I feel like you guys are making a decision to step into your power, right? Stop going back on your words, really, really, really standing for what you believe in and not letting anybody alter your decisions. Like I'm not easily persuaded by uh, childish decisions or by this page of cups, like you're not able to trick me into believing that you're ready for love because since I'm oozing out love, I'm able to tell that you're not ready. I love you. I truly love you, but you, 
I love you enough to know that you're not ready for love. So with that being said, I'm going to continue with my journey and possibly just, you know, not possibly, I'm going to move into this place of uh, a clarity and light and growth, right? Because I feel like you guys are in a place where it's like, I, I can't keep dealing. I know you have love for me, right? I know you have love for me. However, there's like an energy of constantly holding back, constantly um, not putting your best foot forward in this relationship. And that's draining. So I feel like you guys are in a place where it's like, mm, they want to communicate. Like I said, someone wants to communicate, but what's up? Are they still going to hold back? You know, are we still holding back here? I want to know. I want to know, like, they don't know. They're not sure. Someone's very unsure here. Mm, having to make a decision. Decisions, decisions. What are we going to do? Who are we going to pick? There's so many options, right? There's so many options, whether I should go or stay. Yeah, someone was very back and forth here with you. And you guys, I, I feel like you guys are just in a place where it's like, I'm going to protect myself. I'm just going to really just focus on um, self-growth and love. Okay. Some of you guys, you may be at a very far distance or, you know, just separation with this person. But I feel like someone really doesn't know what decision to make. It's like they're not sure. And for some of you guys, you've given this person so many chances. So many chances are being given here. Let's see what the message is here. And remember, guys, I was just doing a check-in for you guys, okay? I'll be back soon. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And email me if you need a personal reading. All right. Spirit, what is the message for my Pisces? What is the message for my Pisces? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? inner wisdom yes 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 you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay so whoever here needs to make a decision spirit has a message trust your inner wisdom okay trust that um high priestess trust that the universe has your back all right i'll talk to you guys soon have an amazing day, night, or weekend, whatever. Have an amazing one. Bye.